Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today's project is for Citrus 2 Skates and this is one of the layouts being featured in today's uh, post for mixed media in the Citrus 2 Skates blog. For this layout, I am going to use the July mixed media kit which is four of the Vicky Beauty pop paint um, acrylic paints. And these are really highly pigmented paints so a little bit's going to go a long way. And Actually, I'm gonna use the Aron kit this time around because I wanted to play it. Actually, the colors that are included in the mixed media kit match to a T the colors on the papers in the Aron kit. Plus, it has a lot of wood grain, so I wanted to have the combination of these colors. You're gonna think they're loud, I think they're pastel with the wood grain, so everything is gonna look really nice. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding a little bit of the pop paint, which is the Vicky's uh, Beauty paint. And a little bit of water just because i want to have it very fluid i want to dilute the paint so it's very fluid think of it as a really loose watercolor and i'm going to use the packaging technique to create four different sections on plain white cardstock and each section is going to be one of the colors of the paint and what i want to make sure though is that when i finish creating my quarter of a page with the color i'm going to add splatters of the paint around the inside a this way, when I add the next color, I can have a combination, like have a nice fuse, uh, fuse, um, fuse, I can say it, yeah, of the two colors together. So you don't see like a straight lines, but actually some mingling of the colors. And as you can see, I'm going to set it aside to dry. It didn't take that long to dry, but because I did not yet saw the background, so I didn't prime it, it did buckle. So my choice was once it was dry, I ran it through a laminator, and that actually helps with reducing the amount of buckle. Now my idea is to have to, I stamped uh, some circles, it's a Vicky Beauty stamp because I knew that I wanted to cut out this page and I want to create the background by cutting out this page and for that I needed to break the color just to have some interest on the page and I'm going to use uh, some dyes and these are all from my road and what I'm, it all starts. So what I'm going to do is actually take my time to cut and die cut pretty much all the paper into different stars. Once I had that said, I uh, had that uh, done, I bring in the picture. This is a picture of my family on Father's Day, which happens to be usually around the same time as my husband's birthday. So this is one of the pictures we take every year. So now to create the background, once I kind of have an idea, I set it up outside of the camera and realized that it needed something in the background for everything to pop nicely. But I didn't want it to be as loud as the stars because then you're not going to have a good definition of the stars. They're going to get lost in the background. So my idea was to create a like a really pastel tone of the stars for this and i'm gonna bring in the june um mixed media kit which is still available at a citrus to skates shop and this is uh, one of the paints included this is the, the echo art pearl or white uh, sheen page it's really shiny so what i'm gonna do is i'm mixing together with a little bit of water i'm not adding as much water as i did to create uh, the cutout and all I'm going to do is pretty much splatter it on the page. I have an idea that I want to create a nest on um, with the star, something like that is that wraps around the picture. So pretty much a column in the center of the page. So you're going to see that all I'm doing is splattering and just to spread a little bit of the paint around. In this case, I am spreading around where the picture is going to go. And then just at the edges when you're going to see the clusters most, uh, you're going to see most of the stars clustered together. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to repeat the same procedure with the other three colors of paint. And like I mentioned before, this is um, the silver, not silver, the white, uh, not translucent, sorry. The white silver paint was in the June uh, mixed media kit. And it's actually really nice paint, super simple to work with too. One of the things, is I'm not using plain cardstock to create the background. I'm actually creating the background on uh, Basso's marshmallow cardstock. It's a thicker heavier weight of cardstock so it'd be able to hold mixed media a little bit better i don't want it to buckle I want it to be a little bit i don't want it to have those dips in the paper so i went for like a different type of cardstock this time around and like i told you before i'm all i'm doing i know that my design is going to be pretty much in the center in a column in the center of the page so i'm just adding the splatters accordingly uh with the four colors you're going to see that it's not as water it's not as then as it was before it's a little bit thicker so when i'm splattering i'm actually getting rounder uh drops and that means that it's not as thin and i'm gonna set it aside to dry this took no time to dry because like i said 
first of all, the paint is a, a little bit uh, thicker, and it's not um, a heavy application of the paint. It's just splatters. And I don't know if you can see the sheet. You cannot see it that well right now in the video, but in a little bit, when I lift up the paper uh, to keep working, you're going to see how shiny it is. Super pretty. Very soft. Lots of splatters, and that's what I like. I love splatter, and I like that messy look behind it. But don't be afraid. A lot of it's going to be hidden by the picture and the stars, so you're not going to see a lot of it. You're going to see mostly the splatters and just the shadow behind the star. And that's pretty much about it for the background. I'm going to set it aside to dry. While the background is drying, I worked on the layers for the picture. And like I mentioned before, the autumn kit this month has a lot of wood grain and these really deep tones of... um of the colors which are really nice and work really great with this paint uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna use uh the wood grain paper that come in the kit and I, this is from the pebbles collection uh the latest collection just to uh layers layers behind the picture and i'm gonna frame the picture with this uh paper once uh i had a cut i went ahead and cut the paper right behind it is that from the Hawthorne collection from Heidi Swap, and the one right behind it with that teal circles is actually from the Pineapple Crush collection by Heidi Swap. But the colors match the paint to a T, so I wanted to take advantage of that. So I'm using these two pieces of, of a cardstock or paper in this case as layers behind the picture, and I'm bringing one of the ephemera uh, frames, and I just cut it in half because I wanted to just add like the idea of the frames behind the picture. And one thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to crop the picture with some fun foam. I want to lift it off the page so I'll be able to play the stars around it. I want to layer them. I want to add dimension. I want them to be different levels so you can actually find the definition of the star and actually don't lose, like, you know, just have a blob of uh, stuff. It actually is going to have some dimension. There's going to be some shadows and it's going to look pretty. So once that's done, you're going to see that I am, like I said, fun home and I'm going to actually glue it straight onto the page. One that is uh, ready to go, I'm going to start playing with the stars. And my idea was just to make sure that each cluster of stars had all the colors uh, that I had added of the paint, one thing. And also why it was for me important to stamp is because the, the black is going to break some of the, the shape of the stars, going to create a definition so you won't lose the stars in the cluster. You actually will see the definition and the different stars and the colors. Uh, it might be a little bit too loud for some people. It's not as loud as you think it is in real life. Uh, camera, the lights do affect the colors. But I love how it turned out. And like I said, if you're going to see it, imagine it's going to be like a nest of stars behind the picture. Some are going to be tucked behind this, uh, the second layer, some behind the first layer. So it's going to be definition. And what I'm doing is I'm gluing some of them straight onto the cardstock. And other ones, I'm just using little pop dots behind it just to create a little bit of a lift and that's going to give me the shadow and dimension that i'm looking for now once i get to the bottom you're going to see that i'm going to start playing with some of the stars and the way i look at it is like there were layers like scales like fish scales they came out the same idea like just with stars and i love the way it turned out once i was happy with that i'm going to take advantage of all the wood grain that is in the iron kit and i add my title from the chipboard words that are included in the after that, I took uh, some of the ephemera pieces and ran it through my mink machine. I have a foiling machine and I added gold foil because I wanted to bring some of the gold foil. And I'm just setting up in little clusters around the picture. Then I brought the routine stamp and added some of um, the d details around the picture and the layout. And that's about it. Some gold splatters complete my layout. I'm going to say super simple if you like mixed media. It's not a complicated layout. Super colorful love the way it turned out if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me check out the kit the citrus twist kit shop there's so many amazing things uh, in the store and so many more coming thank you so much for joining me take care guys